Hey there guys! 3D printing can be extremely overwhelming, especially when trying to pick a 3D printer as a beginner, right? These 3D printers, they have so many accessories and softwares and it's like, man, I don't think I can do it. But guys, it's not what you think it is. 3D printing is actually very simple. I just think a lot of the brands or companies are overwhelming a lot of this because there's so much money to be made. So as an average dude here sitting in my kitchen, yes, the 3D printer is on the kitchen table. My girlfriend is not happy. I have recently become obsessed with 3D printing and I want to simplify this for beginners because it's a real shame. This is the funnest hobby I've ever been a part of and this needs to be simpler. So when you first go down the rabbit hole of looking for 3D printers, brands are what first come up, right? And I did all of the research. I spent a gazillion hours researching it and there seems to be like six or seven brands making these 3D printers that are kind of dominating the industry. But there's one in in particular that really stands out and that's Bamboo Lab and they stand out super loud for a handful of reasons. Their printers are super reliable, they're easy to use for beginners and they're fairly priced. And yes it may seem like I'm a sellout on Bamboo Lab or I'm sponsored by them but that is not the case. I have nothing to gain except your viewership and maybe the fact that you subscribe to the channel because I'm just a geeky guy doing this. So yes, one brand stands out in particular and especially for beginners. And when you deep dive on Bamboo Lab printers, I own two of them by the way already because this hobby is that addicting, there's different tier levels of which ones to get. They have everything from small machines all the way up to like industrial grade machines. So you as a beginner, you would tend to think that we fall more on the smaller side, right? Because you wanna start small. And again, I'm gonna make a bunch of people angry by by only telling you to buy one brand, Bamboo Lab, but guys, they stand out so far. Like once you do the research, it's gonna blow your mind at like everyone's just like, go buy Bamboo, go buy Bamboo. So let's talk about their different machines, right? It starts at the very bottom, their smallest 3D printer, which is known as the A1 Mini. This is most likely going to be the best printer for 90% of beginners. It has a price range of anywhere between $200 to $350, roughly around that, and you have the decision if you want to get a multicolor printing machine it's going to be a little bit more because it comes with an accessory that allows you to hold multiple colors of filament or you can just get the bare bones machine where you only print one color but if you want my honest advice I would get the multicolor printing because it's a complete game changer I spent one year only printing single color 3d prints and it took me some time to get into the multicolors but look at this this is absolutely ridiculous look at this thing here it 3D printed this texturized picture. And it's like, the things you can do with this multicolor, like it's changing every single day. Look at this one here. Look at the texture. It's insane, guys. So just like, you have to spring and get the multicolor printing. So the A1 Mini is the smallest machine. I think it's $200 out the door for single color, or it's like $330 with multicolor. That's gonna be the bottom of the barrel like starting point as far as getting started in 3D printing. And if that's too much money for you, my advice to you from like my honest opinion, I would say to put it on halt and go save more money. Because if you pull the trigger too fast and get a cheaper machine, the entire hobby is not gonna be as fun for you. And ask me how I learned that. It's because I went and bought an Ender, an Ender 3D printer. I spent so much time trying to fix the machine and it's not worth the time, guys. If you're looking to just print things that are cool and just you know spend the time printing, you need to just save up the money at bare bones, get the A1 Mini with this AMS multicolor device. And again, I'll throw links to these printers in the description. And no, I'm not making any percentage of the sales. One of the biggest setbacks though, guys, moving on is the bed size. Like for example, this is the size of my hand here. This is the bed size. That being said, the next printer is known as just the A1. This is the A1 Mini. We're moving up to the A1 now. It's essentially the same printer, except it's larger, so we can print larger things. That being said, it is more money. I think out the door, you're gonna spend around 400 to 500. You know, this is the next level printer. This printer, I would say, is good for 98% of beginners. And the same deal applies. If you're looking to do single color prints, it's 
less money, I think it's like 250. I'm, I'm guessing I'm pricing guys. And the, the pricing fluctuates like every single month because things change. This hobby is moving forth so fast that it's insane and the pricing does change. New products come out, so the pricing will fluctuate. But if you have around 400 to $500 as a beginner, the A1 by Bamboo Lab is the ultimate 3D printer that I think most everyone should get. But if money is a huge factor and you still wanna get involved, the A1 Mini is still a good 3D printer. It's just smaller and you're gonna be set back with the size of prints that you're doing. So our next printer on the list for Bamboo is the P1S and we're actually 3D printing live right now. This is next level guys. If you're looking to spend a little bit more money and get into like that industrial printing where you're gonna be doing tons and tons of printing, maybe you wanna sell things on the side, this printer is a beast. I have zero complaints about this printer. I borrow it to friends and they just print for like a week straight. I have a gazillion hours on this thing. Um, if you want tried and true multicolor printing, this, this printer does close to everything. Let's get out of here though, because it's a little bit loud here, but the Bamboo Lab P1S, it has faster printing speeds. It has a little bit more than the A1 series. And it's, uh, it's an industrial, they consider it like moving towards that industrial size printing, or not industrial size, but industrial printing. You can do just tons more of it. It comes with the external AMS unit. Uh, guys, if you want to spend a little bit more and just get that super trustworthy product, it's kind of like the pickup truck of 3D printing. Like, just throw anything at it and it's going to do it. And honestly, guys, those are the top 3D printers for beginners that I would advise people to buy. I've done a gazillion hours of research. So we have the A1 Mini, we have just the A1, and then we have the P1S. These are the best beginner-friendly 3D printers in 2024, moving into 2025. And no, this is not sponsored whatsoever. I wish it was, but it is not. Hit me up in the comments, what 3D printer are you choosing? And guys, don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you in the next one.